Man, UC Davis went nuts. <laughs> <laughs> this was uh, this was an interesting little uh, tidbit. So this was a a part of a uh, of a, of a course. Um, I guess like a a graduate uh, student project at UC Davis. They designed a processor. Um, partnering with IBM, they got to use IBM's facilities, which is pretty awesome. They've made a thousand core processor on 32 nanometer process, um, uh, which is obviously it's an older process, but it was running 1.78 gigahertz. So not like, was it running at 25 megahertz or something like that to get that speed? And there was running at 1.7 tera ops. So it's not a floating point uh, processor, but uh, just integer based stuff. So tera operations, um, which is, which is pretty impressive. And I think, um, they talked about the, so it's only using 621 million transistors. I say only, um, but if you compare that to the big original, big Fermi processor, the GPU had 3 billion transistors. So five to six times as many transistors. It had 1.5 teraflops. Now, obviously floating points, a little bit more complex than integer, but similar number of operations per second are happening uh, between those two parts. Um, it's, it's pretty impressive what they did. And I think it was running at 30 something Watts as well uh, at wow. that 1.78 gigahertz thing. And you can see a picture of it there. Um, and, you know, sitting on its dev board, uh, no heatsink on it. I'm going to assume that they didn't just leave it running without a heatsink. I think if you'd spent all that time and you got to design this process with IBM, you'd probably be pretty, Pretty damn careful with it. Um, <laughs> but that's a pretty that's a pretty awesome graduate project to be working on uh, that you can put on your resume, right? That oh, I I designed a thousand core CPU. Um, I would I would love to see. You know, we were we were debating this last night. Like, was it running an operating system? Was it just running uh, you know test firmware internally that could you know mm -hmm. basically just built to see how many operations it could run per second? I would love to see some kind of comparison of like. In a, in a metric that I would understand in terms of a real-world application performance or something that's right. applicable to a real-world real world application, application, how close is this to being like a competitive part with, you know, a few years ago processor, right? Or uh, like an ARM processor or a phone processor or something like that. I just, I would like to see some, some uh, uh, normalization of that data to see, to see where it falls. Obviously, Can't you just, just embrace the love for a college student knocking out a thousand core CPU. I just, yeah, I mean, I'm doing that right now. Now I want to go to the next step. Like, what are you going to do with it? What was the purpose of the project? Right. Obviously it was, okay, we can put a thousand cores on there. What is the idea? Why would you need a thousand cores? What is, what is a workload that might do that? Right. So right. that's a lot of parallelism for sure. <laughs> so much parallelism. So much time. <laughs>